It's a boat. Eight points, the lead for BYU. A lot of basketball to be played, and a hand on Ains. Brad Jones called for the foul, and that's number four on Jones. Now Jones can't come out of this game. Check time. it. Yep. Check it. It's five now. Five now on Jones. He can't believe it. Oh, that's huge. That is enormous. That's enormous. I, I, you know what, I have to think that if he wasn't keeping track of the fouls himself, that there's no way he would have hand-checked like that. You, you see, you can see, see his right? mouth, but yeah, I thought I had four. Well, so did you for a brief second. That's a huge loss. That's a huge loss. I was about to point out, this is where BYU certainly misses Rashawn Brodus in terms of getting the ball up against the press. He was by far the quickest of the backcourt people. And I think that the Mountain West Conference teams that are scouting BYU are going to see this. And I'm guessing that in the second half of the season, even sooner, teams might be throwing presses on BYU a lot sooner than when they're behind for that very reason. Brodus was not only good off of that dribble and breaking the press, but great defensively as well. They thought they'd miss him even more against these two speedy guards. Austin Ainge.